Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ooh, it has been a couple of months and I'm so sorry for it. Uh, I really thought I can just move to Germany and keep going. Yeah, that was uh, the plan, but it didn't work out. <laughs> uh, to try to really make it short because I filmed this intro a couple of times and I keep talking because so much happened, um, but I also don't want to, you know, bore, uh, bore you to death. So. Um, in a nutshell, we moved, we took about a month to just, you know, arrive and realize that we actually moved back after seven years living in the USA. And then um, after that, uh, it took us about a month, a month and a half to get actually our job. So my husband, as well as I do have now a job and we are really lucky to have that because not a lot of brands hire right now. And I'm very happy that I'm still with my cosmetics. Um, it's just where I feel at home. I worked for them for now eight years, so obviously I'm very familiar with the material. So I'm very happy that I got the position that I have now. And um, thank you for everybody who, you know, uh, helped me on the way. And so then it took us about another month to actually find an apartment, but it's really quick. So uh, usually in Munich, it's really, really competitive, the market for living. So, you know, you have lines people standing in line to just see an apartment that is affordable. And through the help of my father and a family friend, I actually found this apartment that we are living in now. And it's very cheap and very affordable. And it's really good quality. Like it, the apartment is not cheap. Like, you know, it's, it's a good apartment, but usually you probably would pay like almost twice the amount that you're paying now. So really, really happy about that. Thank you for that. Thanks dad. And um, so, now we are in lockdown again. So I started working in December and then 13 days after I started, uh, we went into a second lockdown. So yeah, that's where I'm right now. I'm in a second lockdown and I took the time to really just set up the apartment um, through the help of uh, Amazon and, and delivery and um, stuff like that because it's really hard to get an apartment furnished and starting from scratch pretty much with everything when nothing is open. So that took a while, but now I'm here. It's not perfect yet. Like the background will change and a couple of other things will change in the future, but you will see about it. And um, I just hope you enjoy that. I'm back here filming a video for you guys. And I want to just do a beautiful drag look. Uh, I've got some new wigs that I'm excited to show you. And so let's just, I block my, my brows and everything off camera. And then we start with eyes, cheek and lip together. All right, guys, I have scooted you in a little bit <laughs> and I already done my top part. As you see, I actually tried a couple of new items. Um, some are new, some I already are familiar with. The reason is because now I'm back in Germany, so I have access to Cryolan. So I tried the HD micro primer. I will let you know how that worked out. And then the classic TV paint stick. I actually used the color 4W. So um, this is pretty much like for for coverage foundation and then I actually just used clown white super color so it's like this super color is like a cream cream color I would say and look at this giant pot and this is lasting me forever and then I have the super color contour wheel it's contour and shading so it's a cream contour and this is what I use to create my contour on the forehead and also the eyebrows so let's now go into eyes and I actually want to play with this one because I haven't played with it yet and it's it's on my counter for months now and that's the Nikki tutorials palette um, if you have not uh, seen it then I don't know where you have been if you're on YouTube but yes so uh, obviously I love to support somebody who is a fellow person from the LGBTQIA plus community. And so let's go into it with a 217 from MAC. And let's just try Mila. What is this warm brown shade right here on the top? And I wanna do kind of like, almost like a classic neutral eye, nothing too crazy. So first I just go in like this, in a sweeping motion, then I do go into circles, but then where the glue is, 
actually just more use stamping motions because this way you really get it in between all the nooks and cracks. Personally, I feel like eyeshadows, it's always the ultimate test on how it behaves on brow cover because if it's good shadow, it doesn't disrupt the uh, glue underneath. And this is looking good so far. Now we're going with this color in the center. It's called Basic Tote. Uh, it's just a bone beige kind of color. And I'm using this for underneath the brows. I don't want to go in with white. I want to have it more neutral looking. Now we're going with 5AM. What is this darker chocolate brown? I'm going in with the Morphe M506. What is a smaller blending brush? Just to really deepen the socket. Next, I'm cutting my crease using the P. Louise base in Woomer and then the um, 242 brush from MAC and just create a little cut crease moment. And with my finger, I'm just using the color All In. What is this reflex gold pinkish color? This will just be pressed on the eyelid. And on the inner corner, I'm going in with Ivy. What is this bright silverish color? They are very creamy. You have to be very careful. They almost like fall apart. But because of that, they really give color payoff. What is great? All right, let's create an eyeliner. I'm using House Labs eyeliner in uh, the black color. I don't think they actually make any other color. And I'm then setting the liner with the black from the Lives of Drag palette. Because there is no black in Nikki's uh, palette. And with the same M506 brush, using a little bit black just to connect here on the outer corner. Always like to do that. And with the Kemi Nguyen liner, I just go in and exaggerate my crease on the inner corner here. Next I'm using Shape and Shape Brow Tint from MAC in Spiked to create my signature hairs in my brows. Right, next I go off camera and just do the lower part of my face and then we will continue smoking at the bottom, cheek, lip and then the final look. Stay tuned. All right, face is done, nose is snatched. Let's go into uh, contour. And I'm using this one right here. This is Taupe from MAC Cosmetics because I want something really ashy. And I start high, pretty much above the ear. And go down like that, stop there, center of your eyes. And then I go in a little bit with Shadester. What is this up here? Just to deepen it even further. Now for blush, I have this really old uh, Hourglass palette and I'm using this color here, it's called Mood Exposure because it has this kind of like lilac-y vibe to it and because of my hair and my outfit later, it really will fit. Also go a little bit above my eyebrow and even on my chin. Now I'll go with the ambient lighting powder in dim light, what is this light color in the corner, just to really keep this underneath my eyes bright. And it also will soften a little bit the appearance of my skin. With the Hyper Real Glow palette, I'm actually going in with this golden color here for my cheek highlight, using it on a fan brush. And I'm going with a small eyeliner brush actually and just using it to give me a highlight on the tip of my nose and a little bit on the bridge. Before I continue with the bottom lash line, I'm just going in with the Invisible Set Powder from MAC and cut now a little bit underneath my cheek. Now we'll let that bake. Underneath the lash line, I'm just pretty much repeating what I did for my crease. I'm going in with Mila and then 5am. So starting off with Mila and I'm using a flat brush. This is a 239 from MAC. And just really smoking out the lower lash line. 
and just a little bit on the outer corner with the black. All right, off camera, I will just do some mascara really quick and then I put on those lashes. Um, they do have a different name, but on the package it says N31. They are from Bam Bam Wigs. Uh, I will link everything in the description as usual. Um, so let me do that really quick and then we do the lip. All right, and now finally, let's take care of the lips. Uh, I take Prep and Prime Lip, as always. I don't know how people can do lips without it. Next, I go in with Plum Lip Liner from MAC and do my usual look. And then I take, uh, this is unfortunately, it was limited edition, um, it's a liquid lip color from MAC, it's called With a Side of Stars, that was from last year Christmas. It looks like a nude, but it has like reflex to it, so it uh, looks like a gloss, but it will actually be set like a liquid MAC lipstick. And then I thought it would be fun to just put a little bit of reflex glitter. This is Reflex Pearl, just on the high points of my cheek. And finally, to set everything, use my trusty Fix Plus. All right, I will go quick off camera, put on everything else, my hair, my jewelry, my outfit, and then I see you in just one second. All right, and this is the final look. Oh, if you haven't done drag in five months, this feels so good. You have no idea. And this is the hair I was talking about. Oof. Isn't it stunning? And I have another one, so I will have to create another look for you maybe in the future. So this is the hair by Bam Bam Wig. Really satisfied with that. And then we have the jewelry by Gems by Genesis, as always. And the outfit is by Fashion Nova. Yes, honey. Also, a woman like me can shop there too. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. Thank you again so much for giving me the time to allow to come back here. It feels so good and I will try to be on my regular schedule um, as good as possible. And you can help me out to motivate me though by subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've seen all the people who watch my videos but actually don't subscribe and I'm like, why are you not subscribing? It's for free. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then like this video, it helps me too. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section. And if you have any other questions about the product or where to find me, you'll find all the links in the description bar. And that was it. All right. I'm signing off. I will now feel my oats looking in the mirror in the bathroom <laughs> and then take it all off. <laughs> That's quarantine live. Yay. Now, that was it. Thank you again so much for watching. And until I see you next time, as always, stay safe and wash your hands. Bye-bye.